doing enough. I mean, usually, like, we're here until, like, 1, 2 a.m., but it's only 11, so we might actually finish that Wednesday night. And yet again, here we go. Going the wolf, going the, the raw kill power, the feral animal himself. Let's see how this match turns out. Arma expecting a blaster from the beginning. And you know what? K9 just kind of sitting back and just content with, you know, laying back and letting Arma, like, kind of approach him. Because, you know what? It's not kind of working out just because Arma can, you know, kind of counter camp him. And you see that a lot with uh, Arma's style is that he doesn't like to commit to something if he absolutely doesn't have to. He gets a two frame on the down tilt, gets the four tilt. I don't think he has a jump at this point. Oh, tries going for the down smash, but you know what? Not going to be able to find his margin. Try and read the side B, but you know what? The up B is going to sweet spot the ledge. And yet again, you see Arma just trying to sit back and missing the ledge right there. An unfortunate SD from him. You know, very uncharacteristic of Arma. But yeah, now that he has the stock lead, you know, Arma's going to have to do a lot more to kind of like approach and like be actually engaging in the matchup. Ooh, reading the spot dodge or the, perhaps the roll in, you know. Arma going for those heavy or hard reads. And again, good time uh, landing in shield. Getting quick up air, getting another up air. He just needs one more to get the kill and not going to be able to find it that time. K9 just jumping out in ways of safety. And here we go, reading the roll but not pulling the trigger in time. And yet again, that was such a close call from Arma. He could have easily died at like 60 from that. Going for an empty hop and just know it. Not going to be able to fall for it. Try going for a grab. Not going to be able to find it. Just K9 is just weaving in and out of Arma's airspace and you know, just catching the jump with the up smash. There's an air. Nair's going to take it. You know, and Arma gets the kill, but it's a little bit too little to late. I mean, he's down a full stock, and definitely this is where K9 loves to excel is that when he has the lead and he can just be a little bit more aggro as much as he wants. In the back air, Fortel not going to be able to catch the aerial approach, though, a little bit too early on the trigger. Gets the grab in the fourth throw. Tried going for the Nair off stage, but not going to find it. And, you know, I tried reading the normal getup, but, you know, with the, ja the, the, the jump uh, neutral air would just catch a K9 off guard. And yet again, K9 really wants that on the neutral getup down smash read, but just not going to be able to find it. Here we go, just sitting in there, you no, know, waiting for the jump, no, and he's just like, okay, if you're gonna approach, then he might do it now, going for the forward smash. And it just, it's a really, like, intense pressure, because even if it doesn't directly hit, it's still gonna do a lot of damage. And North K9 with the unfortunate SD, you know, Arma at 130, but, like, yet again, this is gonna be a, a mountain to climb, but he has a little hope. No! I was about to say, he has a little hope for him, but, you know, that hope hit the wall and went straight down. It just bonked off and fell to the depths of despair. All right, where are we going for game two? Going, going to town for game two, you know, a little less platforms for K9 to work with. And then on top of that, no, no, uh, he can still up air, like, frame trap him. And going to Cloud, this is gonna be interesting. I, I feel like I haven't seen K9's Cloud in forever. Yet again, I mean, I definitely think that it's a, definitely it's not a bad pick against Palutena. You know, the very disjointed sword. Uh, yet again, we'll just see how well uh, K9's Cloud is. He does have a, a game to kind of mess around with to see what he wants to do, but yet again, not going to be able to find it. Here we go, just trying to sit back in neutral right there. Gets the down tail and the forward tail. He does have, oh my god, the platform coming in super clutch for him. And again, Arma has to watch out for the blade beam, and there we go. There's the forward air, reading the roll away, but not going to be able to find it. And yet again, all those up air strings. Oh my god, he was hard reading that roll in, and you know what, Arma almost gave it to him too, but air dodging into the blast zone. Again, there's the Nair train. There's one, there's two, but no, he's not going to be able to find a third one because he was able to tech it on the platform. Jumping away to safety, teleporting away just to avoid any more juggling. No, Arma's 
doing really well, is staying in shield because he knows that, like, okay, he's either going to read the jump or he's just going to try to go for me directly. And that, that's kind of like the story against Cloud. Like, a lot of moves, like, yeah, they're disjointed, but, like, they also easily lose a shield. And, you know, Cloud on the ground is not really the best of characters. So if you can just shield all of his, like, scary moves, that nair, that back air, especially uh, avoid the up air from the from the strings for the jugglers, like, you can do really well in this matchup against Cloud. And just ripping it out raw. Oh, my God. Arma was not expecting him to just pull the trigger like that. Ooh, going for the jazz now, catching the tech in plays, and not going to be able to punish the get-up option. And that that is so unfortunate. No, they neutered Cloud Down Air. Like Cloud Down Air used to be like a top like three move in like Smash Four, like or maybe like not that good, but like it was like one of Cloud's like best moves. And now in this game, it's just it's such a small hitbox on it. Like it loses to a lot of no, I killed. Oh my god, you just read the landing option right there and killed him at 70 for that. But like I was saying with Cloud Down Air, I mean, like, that Down Air, it just loses to pretty much any disjoint. Like, DK up B, uh, Palutena up air, or not up B, uh, up air. And yet again, Arma evening out the stocks, but you know what? You gotta wonder with K9 with all the momentum in the matchup right now. And yet again, quick up B out of shield, kind of punish that option. Yet again, trying to punish it with another up B, but not going to be able to find it. Ooh, catching the jump out of shield with the Nair. And yet again, try going for a Nair string, trying to ref uh, reverse it in order to get more damage off of it. But you know what? Not going to be able to find it because he's able to land on the ground. Cross slash covering the jump option right there. Just teleporting the ledge. And now he has to watch out for the limit cross slash. Yeah. And yet again, not going to be able to find the trigger in time. Oh, barely avoiding that down smash. Getting the Nair off stage. But the downer is going to do it. Oh, my God. Yep. That that first hit of down air, you know, that uh, the strong hit. Like, even if you don't get the sweet spot for the 